Mrs. Grasha Marcel. On stage, gesturing frantically, this man was meant to be relaying the tributes to Nelson Mandela to the world's deaf community. But it turns out they couldn't understand a word. No, there's no grammatical structure, there's no facial expression, which is the grammar of the language. He just makes these... It, it, he's pretending to know that he knows signing. He does not have a clue of any South African sign language. Modehi Mohmi was trying to watch at home. She's furious. I was so shocked. What was he saying? It's such information important for us. So not understanding, I mean, it's like a mockery of my language. It's my language. The signer, who's been declared a fake, even brushed shoulders with President Obama before baffling the hard of hearing in the translation of his speech. Thank you. The interfaith prayers, too, were garbled in a sign language the deaf say he was making up as he went along. In your great loving kindness, the soul of Nelson Ronikla Mandela. What this uh, illustrates is the importance of using sign language interpreters who are properly qualified, registered and appropriately experienced for the assignment. So this was an event of not just national but international significance and it would appear that deaf South Africans were excluded from that aspect of something which united the whole of the rest of the country. Madiba. No one seems ready to take responsibility for hiring the still unnamed signer who's appeared at ANC events before. The government's promised an investigation. To the untrained eye, he might have seemed legitimate, but as the crowd celebrated and millions around the world were moved by the eulogies, the deaf community was left wondering just what all the world leaders had said. Emma Hertz, Sky News, Johannesburg.